Bearski. Good to be ready. What's up, man? Great to see you again. How are you doing tonight? Doing good. Doing good. Um, uh, I'm still one of the fans that's excited for the season start, and uh, still excited to see what's gonna what's gonna go down and how everything's gonna happen. I'm I'm really looking forward to this week one matchup against the uh, Packers. And uh, yeah, man, I'm ready to go. I'm I'm shitting my pants personally, but what about the season ask? week one? I'm shitting my pants already, but you know, yeah. But I'm not the 70s. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, was, I, ten years of shitting in your pants. Ever before oh. the season even started, you know, <laughs> that's because it's true. It's the beautiful thing about the NFL season. Every team, week one of training camp, is like we're a Super Bowl contender, and then reality sets in by week three of training camp, and reality has hit me hard, and I'm just shitting my pants about week one. I just can't. I can't handle a week one loss of Green Bay right now, but I'm feeling it. <sighs> I, uh, listen, I feel like I would jump off of the closest bridge if, if they lost to the Packers in the first game. I'll be, I'll hold struggle. your hand on the way down. I'm, I'm getting nervous, boys. But as it starts to wind down to that first game, we start to see the injuries develop and the blah, blah, blahs. We start to see Jordan Love not looking <laughs> as terrible as we thought he would be. We cannot do this again, guys. Listen, I refuse to join you guys in that thought because um, I really think it's recency bias, and I think it's it's just due to the fact that we've been so badly beaten down in the past. Like, I'm not going into the season scared. I'm not doing it. Um, I'm going in excited and hopeful. And if it does wind up the way David's saying, I will be hosting the uh, suicide party where we all drink the Kool-Aid. And, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'll be sending the invites out for that. But, you know, I, I think it's – I think it's really all depending on Justin Fields at the end of the day, guys. And that's what's exciting to me about it. If he is the guy we all think he can be, the one he can be, then um, we will still see a lot of good football this year. As a fan, what is your overall expectation for this year? If you're sitting here going, hey, this is a 10-11 win team that's going to make the playoffs, yeah, I'd be shitting my pants right now too because that's not going to happen with – Lions getting injured and Kokomet getting injured and all the ups and downs that come with the season. I believe the first time I was on with you guys, I said it takes a lot to sit there and go through and make a playoff run and win a Super Bowl. One thing is you got to stay healthy. Another thing is you got to get lucky. You got to get lucky too. That's the second thing. There's a lot that has to go your way for a magical season to happen. Um, And, you know, personally, I have this team as seven, eight wins. And the reason I think we get to seven, eight wins is because it's accompanied by nine to ten losses and the way you get those losses is through situations like this like the offensive line getting hurt Kokomet getting hurt I mean I, I don't I, I'm not sitting here saying that uh, I will tell you who's about to go down next or whatever this and that but to go into it without the expectation of some injuries happening it I think that's very unrealistic now I think what is kind of exciting here is I think with all these obstacles and everything like that. I think we as Bears fans have gotten really used to using these things as excuses over the years. I know we did it with Jay Cutler a couple times. Like, hey, he doesn't have this, doesn't have this, doesn't have this. But um, in this league, I've watched the quarterback position transcend just about every possible issue on the offense there is. Um, Peyton Manning didn't need an offensive coordinator. He'll do it himself. You know, Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl when he was the most sacked quarterback. Joe Burrow was in the Super Bowl recently as one of the most sacked quarterbacks. So, listen, if my expectation for Justin Fields is very high, if he is who I believe he should be and who I want the Bears to have, then with all this, we still might get 10 wins and make a playoff run. And if we do, one thing's for sure, Justin Fields is a superstar. And that's why I'm so excited for this year because, you know what, bring bring on some of the problems. Bring on some of the obstacles. I want to see this kid overcome it all. 